Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 100. Holy cow, is it episode 100 already? Of Darwell20's Let's Play series, where today... I'm gonna do something cool. Something new, uh, something exciting, something I've been looking forward to trying out. Uh, I want to play a little bit with... Trains. Uh, trains from Create, specifically. Uh, Create version 0.5 added a bunch of cool new features. And as you know, Create is definitely one of my favorite mods. And I've been looking forward to check out the train system because they look amazing. Like, so stinking cool. I can't wait to mess with them and show them to you guys and come up with something cool to build to use them. Um, so the plan is thus. I'm going to uh, spend an episode or two learning and playing with trains. Then I'm going to come up with something cool to do with trains. And then we're going to do that cool thing with the trains. Uh, so step one is I needed a big open area to expand in. And thus, I created the trains area. Huzzah! I also enchanted my travel staff with range three, uh, and it got soul bound on it as well. And uh, if we take a look at this, you'll notice that with range three, I can zip over to create land uh, and home base just no problem. I don't even need the midway station anymore. I can just pop right over to wherever I want to go. I could get rid uh, of, 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 of midway station if I really want. How cool is that? Um, so it's actually, you know, bumping this up to range three has been very nice. Uh, the only problem is, is when I'm over at create land, it's a little bit hard to tell the difference between which one's highlighted home base versus mage tower. So that's a minor hiccup, but not a big deal all around. Loving it. Uh, so I can't get all the way from home base to trains, but I can stop at create land and, and pop over there. And I just used, uh, my, my terra firma staff to, to build a nice open flat area uh within which to look uh so what's the plan for today we're gonna get into trains uh i'm probably gonna start with doing a couple things manually in terms of just getting some of the components but i would like to if i can automate some of these things um so zinc or iron nuggets can be used uh with a slab to make train tracks uh looks pretty straightforward to go with there uh, what I'm gonna have to look at is probably how to make the things that I want to make. Excuse me, sir. No, I veto your existence. The other thing I'm gonna do is slash show Mahu to hide the top left mana thing. Um, so I've got a bunch of stuff on my to-do here that we're gonna check out. So there's train tracks, which, uh, basically super cool, let you build all kinds of new train track contraptions. Um, you can build them. I'll, I'll go through a lot of this with you guys, right? And you can automatically build materials under it. It's super, super neat. Um, there's the train station, which is A, how you make trains, and B, can also use to automate uh, the routing of trains. Uh, there is train controls that allows you to drive your trains around or to have a um, automatic uh, moving of the trains using schedules. And any entity can become a train conductor. Any entity, as far as I know, I don't know if mobs count, but at least passive ones can. Um, so that's cool. Uh, so there's a bunch of stuff to check out here, right? Like, let's do, like, there's, uh, see, look, the, the parrot is the conductor in this one. You can give, uh, if you give him uh, a, a thing, he'll get a little hat. It's like the coolest of the cool, right? Uh, so we're going to check it all out today, all right? So first things first, I'm probably... Gonna need to do something with Create Land here. Now, is there something going on? Like, are you stuck or something? Oh no, you're good. You're good. I feel like I should like slow this down. I mean, we've got such a comically large amount of resources here, right? I should probably slow this down a little bit. Oop. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Ah, there you go. Finally cleared. Yeah. What I did, uh, by the way, is I think the reason we've been getting so many beehives is because there were flowers getting planted by the bone milling effect, even though it's not supposed to be a bone milling effect, but the bone milling effect of that shrine down there. So what I did to settle things a little bit, and I might switch this up to a blood magic-y kind of ritual, maybe we'll see. But for now, what I've done is I've decided to, to make this all dirt instead of grass so that the bone milling will not create flowers and therefore not create beehives and hopefully that solves that problem but anyway let's get into create today let's start building some contraptions now we have a decent 
thing set up. We, it's been a really long time since we've looked at Create. I want to get my engineer's goggles on, which I assume I've got some somewhere. Now, are these curios? Is there, is there a goggles? There is engineer's goggles curio. No, that's cosmetic, but Batania. AR goggles for advanced peripherals. Engineer's goggles from Create. Traveler's goggles from Tinker's Construct. So I may have to just wear these on my head. I guess these don't go into a curio slot. Oh, wait, they do. That's cool. Does it work, though? Because I'm not seeing the kinetic information. See, that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. So it looks like it goes in there, but it doesn't show me the information. I would. Oh, hang on. Now wait. Now there we go. Hey, that's that's cool beans, right? That works. All right, I'll take that. Booting up the helmet again. Sweet. All right. So what I'm going to start with here. Uh, probably want to get my wrench from Create because that thing's even better for breaking stuffs. Uh, but effectively. This was a mess anyway, remember? And I said, we'll make it better. And then I didn't. <laughs> and then I didn't. Uh, but effectively, what we'd like to do today is uh, start getting ready to automate some of the tasks uh, that we're going to need. So let's look through the list of things that we want to do. What I might do is repurpose this area for now, uh, mostly because I don't see myself fighting a Gaia Guardian anytime soon. And if I do, I'll just do it somewhere else. Not a big deal. Really? Beacons don't have a tool assigned in Minecraft? That's kind of funny. Today I learned. Alright, so we'll probably have to get some form of rotational energy going on up here. But, uh, that said, I want to check out one of the new forms of rotational energy, which is steam engines. Uh, which looks super cool. Uh, these things are neat. Basically, uh, you set up a tank. Right? Uh, you put a steam engine on it. Then you attach a, a shaft to it, and it'll uh, be able to create kinetic output. Cool. Uh, once that's done, you heat the, the tank with some kind of fire, right? So campfires work. Uh, and it'll start rotating the thing, right? And generating rotational force. I want to try this out, because it looks super cool, right? And obviously, you've got bump and all kinds of other stuff happening. Um, and then you can also heat it with uh, blaze burners if you want, and that will make it pump even faster. What's really cool is you can expand this even further uh, and have more water and more heat and bigger size and effectively uh, there's different power levels and the different power levels designate the number of steam engines that you can have on there per you know tank and if you get the lava cakes that blaze burners can eat you can go even higher uh, which I think it'll show you in a second here. Yeah see that. Do, 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 do. Eight. Power level eight. Look at it go. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. So we're going to try that out for sure. Uh, so we're going to want some fluid tanks. And I want to start considering the automation processes that are going to be involved in, in this, right? Um, so I want to make sure that anything I need to make, I have automated so that I can make it you know, easier. And if that requires me setting up a create bit of automation, that would be cool too. I'm cool with that. I got no problems. Okay. So let's make sure that everything we need to make is automatable, either with create or, you know, just vanilla mechanics, obviously. But basically refined storage at the end of the day is going to do the automations for me. Um, so maybe what I'll do is I might add my fluid tanks here. Uh, I might add my steam engines here boop, boop, boop. Uh, block of copper we should have andesite alloys we can get that do we have gold plates handy or maybe not if i already have a machine that makes plates i'm not gonna go build a whole create contraption just for that purpose but I saw that. I saw what I did. Put you away properly. I do want to hang on to my to this stuff because I'm going to throw that in the thing. In fact, I should be able to put it here. Nice. That's cool. 
Uh, an andesite funnel might not be a bad place to put in there. And for now, I'm just going to put the crushing wheel away, but I will probably need those in a minute. I'm going to put these guys out of my inventory too, because frankly, I'm going to need a lot of inventory space. You know how create can get. Okay, anything else I need to automate here besides the steam engine? Uh, how about shafts? Because we have some, but I should probably teach you how to make shafts. And any other, you know, automation we have to do all. Make sure to take care of off camera. So steam engines have a stress capacity of a thousand each. Okay, that's pretty cool. So let's go with like four of them. Does that sound cool? So we're going to need gold plates. Um, Multi-servo press, that's fine. Basically that recipe. But it doesn't matter which one I actually... Does this one do plates, I assume? Yep, that'll work. Beautiful. Are you fully upgraded, by the way? You could be a little bit faster. Nice. And then tanks. Let's get... If we looked at the, the steam engine, right? If we wanted... One, two, three, four, let's say. So four by four. By four, right? So that would be four by four is 16. Well, no, 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 wait, it's two by two, right? Is that right? I was doubling it. Yeah, it's two by two base. So four on the bottom times four is 16. Yeah. Let's just get 20. That should be fine. And I assume that you're working on more copper plates. I don't know which machine is making them per se. I assume it's one of these. That's not bad. That's fine. And then what else will we want? We want pumps from Create. I want to do as much with Create as possible. Okay. Uh, so we're definitely going to want fluid pipes. And we should probably automate both of these guys. Really? That's the recipe for cogwheels now? It's different, right? Isn't that different? It's different. Isn't that different? Large cogwheels? Oh my, that's a very different recipe. That's very different, isn't it? Am I crazy? Didn't it used to be all kinds of buttons and everything? Yeah, create changed pretty significantly in uh, version 0 0.5, I would say. Cool. We'll get a handful of you, maybe 20-ish of you. That should be cool. Perfect. Looking good. All right. And then anything else for the steam engine? That should do for now. I might want the blaze burners, but we'll start with campfires, and then we'll go to blaze burners after that. Is that cool? And we'll just figure out, you know, what's what. Okay, that works. Let's make sure it's daytime and get ready to set this up. All right, so we know first off, we're going to want a two by two of campfires, right? And then we're going to want those tanks. And we're going to want... Like that, right? Works for me. Cool. Uh, and then we're going to want an infinite water source. Okay. So get me... Actually, I think I have a water spell, don't I? I do. Perfect. Then we're going to want to pump the water up uh, with... With what? Can I just pump it with a pump? Looks like it, right? Do I, I don't need a pulley for that, I guess? We'll find out. Cool. And then a pump. Let's bring it up to here. We'll put this here so that it's going in that direction. And that should be cool. Nice. And then we just need to get a little bit of kinetic energy into there uh, for the pumping of the thing. Right? 
Uh, what's like a small amount of kinetic energy we can get? So like a really tiny amount of kinetic energy we can get just to get the pump spinning? Or do I want to connect it to the steam engines? I feel like you shouldn't connect your power source to the thing that creates your power source, but like once it's going, it should be fine, right? Guess we'll find out. So with my engineer's goggles, oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness, that's cool. Oh, look at how cool that boiler status is. I love it. It's so good. So by putting the, the thing on there, it now knows, hey, I'm a I'm a boiler. I need water. That is cool. Do you think by chance? I wouldn't think so, right? No, that wouldn't that wouldn't be a thing. But what we can get is a crank. Isn't there a hand crank? Uh, and a gear. Let's put down our thing here. We could do this, right? And a hand crank. Are you getting water by chance or no? I don't know which direction to make this thing go to get water in him. That's the wrong way. What if I put the gear? I just don't want to have to shift click it if I don't have to. That works. You think that'll just start getting some water into this thing? Because that would be cool. I just want to see it work. Ah, oh, there it goes. Order's going in. Sweet. I don't think there's a good way to see how much water is currently in there, though. Short of that thing showing me. I might need to get some water in from our from over here. I just didn't want to set a bunch of stuff up over there. You know what I could do? Can I do like a fan? Fans can generate a small amount, can't they? Fan from create? Oh, that's right. Andesite casing is different now. Do I have any of that by chance? I do. And if we got another campfire? Can't these guys create like a small amount of rotational energy? If I could just have a little bit, that would be cool. Oh, bummer, that feature was removed in version 0.5. You can't do that anymore. All right, we've got enough water now. <laughs> I didn't want to have to pump that manually. But I want to try it out, right? So I just want to have an idea of how it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my... I'm going to start with this one here, I think. I was coming up with different... Like, I tried it manually for a bit, and it was just way too slow. Um... So I guess what I want to do then is this, is that right? And then I could probably, I might be able to speed this up a little bit, by the way, because if I put a, large cog wheel here, wouldn't that make it a little bit faster when it did this? Come on, top left. You can do it. Why do you only want to place there and there and there? You don't want to go there? Why not? Okay, that's better. Sweet, that works. See, Dario will get there with Create, eventually. Eventually, he will get there with Create. And if I need to go with the water thing, we will. All right, so now, presumably, you've got... Where do I the water go? Does, he, does the water disappear in there? Because there was water, right? There was water. Down, extract. 
water good? Does the water disappear in there? Because he's still extracting, right? If I take you out, does the water start to dissipate? Oh my goodness, yes, it does. That's interesting. Why does that happen, you think? Okay. Well, now you've got water in you. Let's get heat. And, uh, yeah. Stress capacity 2048 by one engine. Boiler status passive. Okay. I don't know exactly what that means. Is there a boiler lookup? Not really. There's steam engines. Maybe in this chapter. Dimensions of a fluid tank. No, not really. Let's get stuff. I wish there was a boiler detail here, though. Kinetic sources. This is the stuff you can manually... Ooh, there's an electric motor? Oh, that's the Create Editions one. Yeah. Okay. So that should be... Though we have to rotate it. Hold on, I can do this. And then in theory, you shouldn't need water anymore from an external source. You should be getting... Oh, you're not. Oh, you're definitely not. Okay. Do you think it's not getting enough water? Would that be the thing? I mean, it's definitely getting water right now. Is he transferring anymore? He doesn't seem to be. So now if I set you to require a redstone signal, are you keeping up with the... You're not. You're absolutely not. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to do another mechanical pump here. What do we think about that? And... Maybe? That's enough? Oh, look at that! It's showing me the water amount that we need. Okay. So water's okay. Heat's okay. So we definitely need a certain amount of water coming in at a time, right? Um, and maybe by doing this, is that better now? Look, water's better. Water's better for sure. Okay, now I'm starting to get the hang of this, right? So based on the size, we want four. And we're going to want this to be a little bit faster in order to get what we want, right? Um, so what I should consider is maybe, like, something like this. Though I bet this will break too fast. Because it really does actually surprisingly seem to... Like, how would that be? Oh, I think I just reversed everything. Boop. 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 I really need to keep the sink here as like an emergency backup in case, in case I, you know, dire derp it up. Where's my nodes? Boop, boop, down. Opposite side of this would be north, insert. Down, out. So now what's water looking like? Interesting. Well, water is happy now, so that's cool. Heat's not great. So now if I were to put... Now you're generating what? 2048? So if I were to put this guy here with a shaft now... Is that helping? 1024 at current speed. 2048 via two engines. 
So it's the same stress capacity, regardless of whether you're doing one engine or multiple engines. I'm wondering if it's because the heat's low. That's what I'm thinking. What if we got some empty blaze burners? We're going to need some iron plates. Right, and then we did that. And we're going to need to fill them up with blazes, I know that much. So I'm probably going to want to get one of them. Do I want to pop into the end for a blaze, or do I have one over here somewhere? Do I have a way to spawn blazes in this thing? I think I do, right? I do. All right, cool. Uh, that's right, I don't have a... Where's my soul cage? Do I sell one of them? I do. Would this be a really bad idea? Oh. I forget how this mod works. Will he spawn in late? Oh yeah, he will. Hey, that's actually perfect. I got one, two, three, four blazes. Perfect. That works for me. I'm down. Alright, so I think I'm starting to understand this, right? Um, You want to have a balance between size, water, and heat, I think. Um, so, like, if I add more water to this by doing this, see, now we're adding more water, watch what happens. Now the water has gone up, but the size isn't, as in we have too much water and not enough size, right? So you kind of want to have uh, a balance between how much water. Now if I remove that, watch what happens to the pressure thing, see? Cool, right? So we want to bump up heat. So like we could have just a, a I'm pretty sure, pretty sure uh, if we had just, uh, let's do this actually. I'm just going to do a, a two by two and then we're going to want some uh, campfires. And I mean, we can expect that passive campfires would have done nothing, right? Like that's not a surprise to anybody, right? But if we do this and then this and then we put uh here i'm going to take you out and put you in here so that you start filling up with water and then we put a steam engine on you and then on the down we want the extract oh yeah see we're putting way too much water in for the size right way too much water but on the down what we could probably do Let me do 200. Just curious. I'm kind of playing with this now to understand. Ah, okay. Okay. 100 millibuckets per tick? Eh, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. 50 millibuckets per tick? I'm seeing how this works now. It's not the way you think it does, right? It's, it's it's all about the amount of liquid per tick that you're putting in. If you put in too much liquid, you're going to want to bump up your size and heat to, co to compensate. Cool? Okay. Got it. It's making sense to me now. That's pretty cool, actually, if you think about it. That's not, that's not bad at all. Okay. So then what I'm going to want to do then is add to the heat. So I'm on the right track with more heat thing, right? So if we got some charcoal and we got some blaze burners where do they go and then we replace these guys so watch what happens when i remove these i can't do this right i didn't think so this is one of those moments where i question like what would technically be faster just proceed to remove all these or go digging for an axe and take a while all right so see how heat's gone okay now we're gonna throw blaze burners down and feed them charcoal. And now, oh right, we don't have enough water. So hold on to your horses. I wonder if I can if I can crank this. Hang on a sec. If I were to get my crank on this guy, you think that would be cool? Just to like get us going. Overstressed. Boo. Boo. Overstressed. Boo. All right, so we're just going to do this. Opposite side. Move. And now what should be cool 
Actually, we're pumping too much water in because, oh wow, 65,000 stress units via one engine. That's kind of neat, actually. I guess his speed is a lot higher now. So if I put another one of these on. Wow, that is a significant improvement. That's like bananas level. What's this thing? Remember a max size windmill is like 8,000. So this dude is like bananas level, right? And we're pumping too much water in. Not that that's a problem, but we don't need that much water, right? Uh, what I can do probably is remove you. I have been something not good enough. Hold on. You guys slowed down. Oh, you slowed down because we lost heat. Yeah, so if I remove you... And we're going to want to automate the feeding of those guys, right? Yeah, you might just be too much speed. So if I removed you and you... A little too much speed again uh, on the north face. Go and remove. Eh, probably not enough still. Interesting. Oh, you're reversed, right? Boop. 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 Now your water should be cool. Yeah, boiler status, level four. Nice. All right, now if I remove this, now we should be groovy. And I could make that a redstone signal all day long, right? Hey, that's perfect. All right, there we go, now we're cooking. So if I removed you, oh boy, hold on. So close. I missed three times, folks, three times. But that should be cool. So now on the opposite side, insert. And then obviously you guys need to keep your heat going. And then opposite side, remove. I'm learning how this thing works. We should be pretty cool. Yeah, see, we're even a little bit too fast still. But that's not the end of the world, per se. So if I removed you, just for funds... Now you're slightly low on water now. Slightly low on water now. And too much water now. So what I could do... Is something like this. Whoops. And that might be enough. Let's get it going. Orth, insert. Don't forget to swap you guys. Oh, and we'll probably need you here still to keep that guy turning and then rotate that. And then everybody's happy? Good. And then you should maybe be cool? We'll see. We'll see. I'll have to play with it a little bit to get it stable. But I'm getting the feel for how it works now, at least. I definitely am. I definitely am. It's kind of cool. I like it. So you can totally have, like, a pretty small-sized engine, right? Um, I should really just, on the down, make you require a redstone signal. At this point, right? Huh? Huh? Oh, he's getting in my way, these guys. Yeah, this this episode turned into learning about these guys. Right, so you should no longer be doing anything. So yeah, your water is still low. Interesting. Yeah, we're going to have to play a little bit to get the right amount of water flow. I think it's okay, though, if you have a little too much. I really do.
I really do. So this should turn it on, and then that'll jumpstart it. Oh, and don't forget to rotate you guys. Right, now you're facing the right way. Jumpstart it. And then... Once we get the water in there, we should be cool. And then it's just a matter of keeping you guys heated up, right? That's pretty cool. It's not bad. Yeah, see, it's still a little too much water, but I'm sure I could tweak it or play with it. But I don't think it's a problem. I think as, I think as long as you hit that level 4 status, you're good. Boiler status level 4. So yes, we're putting more water in than we need to. And if we wanted this to be a level 8, we would need more size and heat. But it's not a problem because we're still generating our crazy amount of stress units, which is awesome. All right, so let's do this. Let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next episode. We'll start producing the stuff we need for trains. Then we'll start playing with trains and have some more fun with that. For now, Double 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and uh, I'll figure out, you know, a, 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 a more efficient way to do what I'm trying to do, I guess. So out of curiosity, if I removed you, right... You're still 16,000. That's cool. That is so cool. What's this say? Rotation direction clockwise. Oh, I can reverse it? Oh, that is so awesome. Oh, that is so awesome. Right? And then because we ran out of fuel, we also ran out of heat and water. So, you know, all we got to do is keep these guys fueled and he'll be awesome. Great. All right, wrapping up point, double 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.